friends, I'm Bishma and you are watching my channel G Tutorial. Today's class is on paper folding and cutting and this is our day 6 of RRB NDPC crash course. This topic is from uh, reasoning portion for the NDPC exam. So let us get to our class. In this type of problems, we will get questions like this. We will be given two or more figures and this figure shows how a paper is folded and finally it is cut and then when we are unfolding it what will be the final figure so here the dotted lines is the reference line along which a paper is folded and the arrow denotes the direction in which the paper is folded so this is the first figure and here a dotted line is shown which shows the uh, reference line along which the paper is folded and the arrow denotes the direction of folding. So, first the paper is folded like this. Then the paper is folded in this direction. So, finally the paper is made as this and then a cut is made. A small circular cut is made on the paper. And we are asked to find how this paper looks like when this is unfolded. So, A, B, C, D which is the option is correct. So, we are given a paper like this. Then first we are uh, folding like this then we are folding like this and then we are making a cut over here like this then how first what you have to uh, do to solve this type of problem you have to follow in the reverse manner after making cut let us consider we are moving from figure z to figure y so how the figure looks like This is the paper. We are opening this. So, the paper will be like this. It is still in folded manner. We are just opening this fold. So, this cut will be present. We are opening this. This will be present here also. Then, we are opening it again. So, we are opening in this manner. We, are, we have opened this. Then this cut will be present here. This cut will be present here also. So that this is our folded figure. First we are opening in this manner. So cut will be present here also. Then we are opening in this manner. So the answer will be what? This one. That is option A is the correct choice. I think you are clear with this. The reference line shows the. Uh, the dotted line shows the reference line. Of folding and the direction of folding is shown by the arrow. So the paper is folded first like this, then like this, then a cut is made. So you have to follow the reverse manner of unfolding to find the final figure. First, you have to consider this figure that is, paper after making cut, paper is open like this. Then this cut will be present here also. Then this is open, this will be present here, this will be present here. So this is the answer to that. If you are uh, solving more problems, you will be clear with this topic. We can move on to the second question. This is the next question. Here, the paper has uh, folded in this direction. Then again, it is folded in this direction. And finally, uh, the figure will be like this. And then a cut, two cuts are made. A square, two square cuts are made in the paper. And by unfolding this. The figure will be what? This is the question. So what is the procedure you have to adopt? Here the paper is folded in uh, vertical direction that is along this vertical line. First it is folded like this. Then it is folded like this. Finally we will be getting only a small square paper and two square cuts are made here. But I have told how you have to follow uh, what is the procedure you have to adopt to solve this problem? You have to first open this figure in the reverse manner. That is, you have to move from Z to Y. So, how the figure will be like? The figure will be like, you will be getting this section. We are opening it in this manner. And here it is still unopened or unfolded. So, this square will be present here. And when it is unfolded, it will appear here also. Then this figure is close to this center line. Let, let me mark like this. So it will be present here as well as its symmetric 
path. So here. Okay. Then again we are moving on to the this figure. This is opened in this manner. So when it is opened, paper will be like this. And this will be both portions of the paper are symmetric. So when it is opened, this will appear here. This will appear here. This will appear close to this and this will appear like this. So that now we can check which is the correct answer. You can eliminate option A and option C. You have to choose from option B and option D. Here, the outer squares are correct for both figures. But the inner squares, which is closer to the line of folding. So, this is the correct choice. In this figure, these squares are apart from this line of folding. So, the correct answer is option B. I think now you are clear with this type of problem. We can do some more problems from this portion. This is the next question. Here we are given only one figure. This is a finder figure. Uh, that is how the paper is folded and cut. And we have to find the figure by unfolding this paper. So as I have mentioned before, you have to follow the same procedure. You have to uh, adopt you have to uh, go back through the same uh, way, way you have folded the paper. So first let me assume that this paper is folded in this manner. That is along the horizontal line and then vertically. So first I have opened the paper in this manner. That is. Oh, I have opened the paper like this. Then the symmetric portion will appear over here also. Then this circle, circular cut will appear here. This circular cut will appear here. Okay. For understanding, I have drawn the reference line. It is not needed uh, for you to understand, uh, to solve the problem easily. You can draw like that. Then again, the paper is unfolded. That is, it is uh, opened in this manner. So, the paper will be this. The symmetric portion of this will be the upper portion. So, whatever is present here it will be in the reverse manner in the open portion. So this will be like this. Then this circle will be present here. This will be present here. This will be present here. This will be present here. Then here. This will be present here. This circle will be here. This circle here. So the final figure will be. Let us remove the. Reference lines. This is the final figure. So, which option is correct? Not option A, not option B. Option C is the correct one. So, this is the correct answer. So, given only just figure, just one figure, uh, you have to open it. In, in uh, first, you have to open it in this manner. First, open the first folding, then the next folding, and we will ob obtain the Original figure. Whatever is present here, it will be present in its symmetric portion also. But it will be in inverted manner. I think you are clear with this. We can move on to the next question. Now we can move on to the next question. This is the next question. Here the figure is in circular shape. This, uh, this shows the reference line or the direction of folding. And the arrow denotes the direction in which the paper is folded. So this side is folded in this manner and this side is folded in this manner. Then again this is folded in downward direction. And then two cuts are made here and here. So this is a circular sheet of paper. First folding is done in this manner and this manner. This is folded in such a way that 
you will get only a rectangular shape. So this end of the circle should touch here and this end should touch here. In that manner it is folded. Then it is folded in this direction and then two cuts are made. Here a cut is made and here also a cut is made. So what you have to follow? You have to unfold in the reverse manner. First you have to open this like this and then this way. So the figure will be, you have made cut here, you are opening in this manner. So this will be like a diamond shape. Here, cut is made here. So in its symmetric part, it will be facing upside. So it will be like this. Like this. And then if you are opening, this end has touched here and this end has touched here. So it will be like this. That is the same diamond shape cut will be made here and here. But if you are not folding this paper like this, the entire region is not touching here and this part is not touching here, the pattern will be different. It will be just like this. These two sections won't be having a diamond shape cut. It will be just cut like this. So two type of questions can be asked from this circular portion. One is this ends are touching each other. Then the figure will be what? After unfolding the figure will be like this. Then these two diamonds will be present here also. So the answer is option D. This is the correct choice. Okay. I think you are clear with the problems from paper cutting and folding. This is the first type of problem. We can see with the second type in the next class. If you are having any doubt, you can comment below. I think you are clear with this portions. In, to, in tomorrow's class, we can see uh, how the second type of problem can uh, that can be asked from this portion. From today onwards, I will be uploading uh, videos on daily basis. Due to some difficulties, I could not upload videos for the past few days. If you find my classes useful, please share. Thank you.